LIDAR means light detection and ranging. A LIDAR sensor is used to sense elevation and depth of surfaces. Like you know, the ultrasonic sensor uses the ultrasound to map things. Similarly, the radar uses radio waves for mapping. LIDAR uses light to map things. It sends light waves towards the surface and then receives it. The distance from the surface to the LIDAR is calculated by the time taken for light to transmit and reflect back from the object. In this video, we are going to unbox an a 2 m LIDAR sensor and then we are going to interface it with a laptop and with a Raspberry Pi. So for more info, stay tuned. So let's start the unboxing. Okay, so as you can see, I have RP leader here. Let's open this. Yes, easy. Again, I have one box here, a black box. Let's keep this here. Mm, I got another box here. I'll just remove it slowly. Yes, let's keep it here. We got some uh, foam covering for protection and another one and this is where our leader is. So I guess that's it, the box is empty, there's nothing more, I'll just keep the box aside. The complete leader is from a company, a brand named Slamtech. Uh, let's see what they have provided inside. So this is our main LiDAR sensor module which has this rotating upper part, topmost part and we can connect it through this connector right here if you can see. Another one right here is the converter. So this converter will be connected uh, to this connector from LiDAR. I'll just put it right here. And this fixes. Let's see what's in these two boxes which I have kept here before. So inside one of the box I have got this cable and inside another black box what I have got is another cable plus I have got something like a paper let's see what is it. Okay, so it's a quick start guide. It's just one page as you can see. It's it's very simple, I guess. There's just all the instructions written over here. So I'll just keep it right here because we don't need it. So this converter right here comes with like various options here. As you can see, uh, the connector from the LiDAR connects here. I have this switch through which I can change the baud rate. Uh, the basically the speed at which we send information to the computer or the microcontroller so I've kept it at 115200 right now and here I have two different kinds of uh, you know connection where through which I can you know connect it like this one here and the another cable I can connect here so you can use any of these to connect it with your laptop or with your Raspberry Pi microcontroller module or anything else if you have it So the next step is interfacing it with our laptop and 
have Raspberry Pi and have some you know fun with it. Let's see how it works. As you can see in front of me, it is rotating right now. We've interfaced it with our laptop and I'll show you my laptop screen right now. As you can see, this is my object. I'm just taking it in front of the leader and then taking it back. You can see this thing this much on the screen. This is moving because my object is moving. So I can do that similarly for any object. These are all the like things in my room, my walls. These are my walls and the st stuff which is kept on my table. And right now Omkar is moving so you can see this much is moving forward and then backward. So basically this leader is right now mapping the whole room as it is moving and as it is static. So it can you know map static objects as well as moving objects. So as you can see, my friend Omkar right now is moving forward and backwards. So he'll be moving now in the forward direction. As you can see, this is basically Omkar and now he'll be moving in backward and again forward. So now he'll be moving in left direction and then in the right direction simultaneously. So as you can see the 3D leader is able to map the objects and the people who are moving continuously. So that's it. The application of leader includes general robot navigation and localization, environment scanning and 3D remodeling to service robot or industrial robot working for long hours, home service cleaning robot navigation and localization, general simultaneous localization and mapping which is called as SLAM and used heavily in robotics and smart toys localization and obstacle avoidance. So hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe for more LIDAR videos and for more robotics or informative content. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, stay safe, stay tuned at Robo.com.